Hello everyone, Mice here. Welcome to this quick tutorial about changing the outline's thickness depending on how far or close your camera is to the object that has the outline in question. This is a trick that will only work with a solidify modifier. So if you're using that technique to generate an outline, this will work for you. Without further ado, let's check the trick out. All right, so here we are in the scene and you can see I have this cube set up here. I have this camera as well. And the camera is pretty much pointing at the cube. The cube has a material that I made, pretty standard one. I'll just change the color. So to make this work, we're going into the cube. We're gonna go into the modifiers tab and here we're gonna add a solidify modifier. Okay, so this will be used for our outline. One of the main things is that the normals are going to be flipped. So we're gonna disable the fill, the offset. We're gonna put this to one. And in the material stuff here, since we're not going to be using the normal material, which is zero in this case, we're going to be using another one. So we're going to put this to one. So now I'm going to create a new material. It's going to be called outline. And this will serve as the material that will be used for the outline and will change the sizes. So I'm going to make this an emission material. I'm going to put it as black. And an important thing for this to work is that we need to put this material option in back face color. So you can see that it's kind of working, but there are some things going on here. For example, it's only taken on the top. There's a little bit of outline on the sides, but not so much. So to fix that, we can see here that in the scale, it's not a regular one. It's not all in one. So we're going to press Control A, go to scale, and there it is. Now it's a regular, but it's still too small. So we're going to go to the solidify modifier and we're going to change the size here. So now we have a normal type of outline. But this doesn't change sizes, as you can see here. So now we're going to move on to the part of changing the size of the outline, depending on the camera position. So what we're going to do now to make this happen is that we're going to be adding another modifier, which is going to be called vertex weight proximity. We're going to put that and we're going to drag this up here. And this vertex weight proximity has to be the first one. And the target object that we're going to put here is the camera itself. So proximity mode, we're going to put this to geometry. And this is a very important part. The min and max values are pretty much the values of how big or how small is the outline going to become when the camera zooms in or zooms out out of the body. In this case, I'm going to put the highest to 100 and the lowest to a zero. So the last thing for this to work is that we need a vertex group for this body, in this case, this cube. So we're going to go into the data tab. We're going to add a vertex group. And in this case, I'm going to call it prox. And I'm going to go into edit mode. And I'm going to select all of the cube with Ctrl A. So I'm going to assign all the weight possible. And there it is. Now we're going to put the vertex group that we created here. And I'm also going to put it in the solidifier. Now you can see that the size of the outline has decreased. So we're going to change this here to make, to make it bigger. And this is going to look like a regular one. You can choose the size depending on the view of the camera. But now if I zoom out, you can see that it's actually changing sizes. So there's the effect taking place. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you to notice. And you can see that the outline is pretty much overcoming the cube. It's taking more and more space. And this highest value, you can change it. I'm going to put a thousand here and this is going to change the size of how much the outline is going to grow. And all you need are these two modifiers for this to work, a solidify modifier and a vertex weight proximity. So always remember that the vertex weight proximity should be the first in the modifier step and the solidify should be the last. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will also leave a download link in the description for the blend file of the scene so you can take a look in case you need something from it or need to take a technical look at it. And if you need help with something related to 3D modeling or just in general, you can always comment down below in the description or join my Discord where you can ask me for help and I will try to answer you the best way I can. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.